Okay. So uh, my name is Igor Sisoyev. I am author of Nginx Web Server and co-founder and uh, CTO of Nginx company. I live in Moscow, Russia. If you, in the case you don't know where is it, it's uh, another side of the globe, in North Hemisphere. Uh, it is the first time. Is the, it is the third time I'm in South Hemisphere, and it's first time I'm here in New Zealand. And I hope to know, uh, to learn this country more in the couple next day. Um, at first, I would like to talk about shortly talk about uh, Nginx history. Uh, I started uh, to develop Nginx. Uh, somewhere in spring of 2002 and on October 4th I uh, released the first public version and the next uh, 010 and um, April uh, 12 uh, of 2011 I released uh, the first and the next version 100 uh, uh, the latest Nginx version is 1.94. Uh, it was released in August. It's not milestone, just a regular, regular uh, release. Until uh, 2011, I uh, developed at Nginx. Uh, I was this almost the single developer for Nginx. I accepted some patches, but uh, more than I believe 20. Or 20, oh, 95 or 97 percent of the code was written by me alone. And uh, in the summer, uh, uh, in the 2011, uh, two other co founders convinced, uh, convinced me to found the company. And in the summer of that year, uh, we opened office in Moscow. In the fall of 2011, we get uh, venture money and announce, uh, announce a company in San Francisco. Uh, at the same time, we get uh, we got the first our commercial customer, Netflix. Uh, two years later, we released our commercial uh, first commercial uh, product, Nginx Plus. And uh, last year in October we held uh, our first conference uh, in San Francisco. And this year, in September, we will release uh, Nginx Plus, uh, the seven version, and we'll, have, we'll hold a conference in San Francisco also. Uh, <clears throat> our company uh, divided uh, to two offices. The head office in San Francisco, it's, uh, currently it's a huge company if you compare it with a single developer. Uh, we have about 60 people in company, uh, 35 in San Francisco. Uh, this office do, uh, does management, finance, business development, sales, marketing, pre-sales, etc. In Moscow, uh, our development team is located in Moscow, uh, 25 people. Uh, development, uh, QA, support and professional services. Uh, <clears throat> we develop, uh, we continue to develop uh, a free open source Nginx. Uh, also we provide paid support and professional services. And also we do, we make, we develop Nginx Plus, it's closed source product. Uh, it provides advanced load balancing, monitoring, configurations, and video streaming. So, let's talk about uh, scalable Nginx configurations. By, scalable, by scalability here, I mean not, uh, not uh, the, way, the ways how to uh, handle thousands of connections by Nginx. It's quite easy things. You don't need. You almost don't need to configure Nginx at all. Uh, you have to tune your kernel. So uh, I will talk uh, now. Uh, I will talk about how to write 
configurations which uh, one, one, uh, O1 or constant time maintenance or constant uh, maintenance time. Uh, <clears throat> it, it is interesting, interesting fact that uh, there is only three countries in the world which uh, have uh, their own web search engines, uh, United States, Russia, and China. People in other countries have uh, have to use Google or Bing or something else. And uh, in Russia, <coughs> we, uh, we uh, had and have and still have three web uh, search engines. And in 2000 year, I started to work in, in one of these companies, Rambler. A, uh, a job we use Rambler, or we use uh, Apache a lot, and uh, I was system administrator and had to uh, configure Apache. And uh, Apache is a good web server, but it has a lot of um, shortcomings. And uh, when I started to, to develop uh, Nginx, I wanted to uh, fix many of these uh, insufficient, insufficiencies. <clears throat> One of the main disadvantage of Apache is configurations. Uh, in Apache configurations, order matters. Uh, here are two very similar Apache configurations. Uh, the single difference is order of location blocks. And if we uh, and uh, these configurations will use the different files to uh, handle the same request. Uh, slash script slash. The first configurations will use PHP files uh, file for this, uh, while the second configurations will use HTML file. Uh, this is uh, because the way Apache uh, use uh, process uh, is configurations. It finds to it tries to find all locations that match uh, request. Uh, it gathers all configurations from all blocks from loca all locations blocks, uh, merge it, and uh, some directives in the later locations will override the previous one. And as a result, we will. Uh, it's it's not easy to say from the first sight uh, what. Uh, the resulting configurations will look like. Uh, <clears throat> and to make things worse, Apache allows a lot of different uh, sections when you, where you can put uh, directives. Um, <clears throat> there is a global server. Also, the, uh, there are several uh, blocks, virtual host directory, files, locations, all of them can be uh, given by regular expression or by prefix uh, strings. Uh, this very rich uh, capabilities allows you to make little configurations even less. But uh, configurations tends to grow and uh, at some point, uh, you have a lot of uh, these blocks, and uh, it became a nightmare to manage them. If you, uh, for example, if you need to um, to add new locations, uh, you can put it at the end of the configurations uh, looks uh, all previous locations to see if uh, you need to override some directives that was specified in the previous locations. But when you need to remove some locations in, uh, in the middle of configurations or change some directives in these locations, you have to look through all other locations that go, that, uh, go after these locations. And suppose you have 50 locations. You will spend a lot of time to look 
uh, how a uh, small change will affect uh, all other locations. <clears throat> and Apache allows to write some of these blocks, directory or files inside HT, htxs files spread over all the site. And to make life more interesting, uh, Apache allows to rename these htxs files. And the last but not least, rewrite rules. Rewrite rules uh, makes your configurations look like uh, spaghetti. So I have a lot of problems with uh, Apache configurations at job. So when I plan to <coughs> feature, uh, when I plan features for Nginx, I decided that configurations should be much more simpler. Uh, so, uh, if you use only prefix uh, locations, uh, locations uh, given by prefix uh, strings, order doesn't matter in Nginx. So, you can swap these locations of, uh, in any order, and uh, this request will be handled exactly by one location. Because Nginx tries to find the longest match, the longest match uh, of all prefix locations. And it will use only these loca configurations inside this location. As, uh, <clears throat> let's look uh, uh, at uh, how Nginx cho uh, chooses which configuration it will use to handle requests. At the first, it uh, looks at address and port uh, on which a c uh, request can. Uh, then it looks uh, server name uh, of all uh, of of all servers that listen on this address and address and port. After server has been chosen, uh, Nginx uh, start to find locations. At first, he finds the longest uh, match for prefix location, uh, of prefix locations for this request. And uh, when this uh, longest match has found, <coughs> it uh, tries to match a regular expression. Uh, because it is impossible to to define the longest ma uh, the best uh, match for regular expression, and Genex stops uh, on the first um, uh, regular expression match. Uh, you may ask why uh, Nginx support regular expression uh, since uh, prefix is very nice uh, and allows to configure it very easily. But life is more complex than theory, and usually in, in often, often developers put all scripts, uh, static files, pictures, etc., inside uh, one directory hierarchy. And the single way to, to separate processing is using uh, file extensions. So, um, <clears throat> uh, Nginx allows to minimize, uh, to minimize uh, regular expression impact on configurations. The first thing is uh, a recursive prefix uh, search. Uh, for example, in these uh, configurations, Request for admin index PHP will be handled uh, in the first locations uh, with PHP extension, uh, but not on the uh, in the global one, because uh, after Nginx uh, uh, has found has found uh, the longest uh, static uh, longest prefix uh, location, it will search inside this location if there is any inclusive locations. 
at, uh, at this point, uh, there is no any prefix locations, so Nginx tries to find, uh, tries to, to match uh, regular expressions, locations, and it, fi it, has, find, it has found uh, the first one uh, locations with uh, PHP extension. This allows to isolate uh, regular expression inside uh, prefix locations <clears throat> and not to spread uh, this uh, regular expression impact on the all configurations. Uh, another thing <clears throat> uh, you can use is skipping regular expressions using uh, caret and tilde. Uh, it looks like regular expression, but you may think about this like negation of uh, regular expression. And to minimize uh, writing, Nginx allows to inherit uh, some uh, directives from the, uh, from the more global levels. For example, uh, you can turn send file on for all, ser all servers and locations and uh, turn it off uh, in some servers and locations. Uh, also, you can specify root on, on the server level and it will be inherited in all locations unless it will be uh, overridden in some location. Other way is to include files uh, with common configurations in different uh, part, in different uh, points of configuration file. Uh, <clears throat> people often say that they write less, but it doesn't, it actually means that they want to spend less time on configurations. Uh, because often to understand how to write less, uh, people spend a lot of time investigating documentations, software, etc., uh, just to know how to write less. So Nginx allows you to really spend less time. You probably will write a uh, little more, but w eventually at the end of the day you will spend less time if you will configure uh, Nginx. Uh, right. For example, this is the wrong way. You should not do in this way. Uh, for example, uh, people usually uh, like to to define one locations uh, we, uh, where he, where they specify backend parameter uh, backend parameters and uh, road all requests to these locations. Uh, <clears throat> here you, you will see that all these uh, locations depends on the last one. And if you will change something uh, in these uh, locations, you have to look if, uh, for example, uh, if it will affect all other locations. People usually say that uh, if they need to change backend name or path to the script files, uh, they will do it just in one place. But suppose you need to add, uh, you need, to, uh, you have several backends or you have several scripts, and when you change uh, uh, the path to the script in one locations, you need to check how this will affect all other locations. And suppose you have not three locations, but 50 or 100. You, you can easily spend an hour or two just to look through the all configurations. Uh, I will show later how to uh, configure this more right. <clears throat> uh, the similar uh, uh, configurations when uh, people think that they write less. Uh, but 
they introduce here a regular expression. And a regular expression uh, is a very, uh, very inconvenient way to configure Nginx. You should duplicate these locations. Now these locations are independent uh, from each other and you can change easily, you can change anything inside uh, any locations you can change path it expires or something else mime types etc uh, you can minimize it uh, if you will put the common part on the server level um, <clears throat> people often uh, people with Apache background uh, often uh, do not understand why these configurations uh, doesn't work uh, like uh, they are expected. Uh, <coughs> they expect. Uh, <coughs> they place some uh, PHP files uh, in admin uh, directory and uh, expect that uh, Nginx will request for password for these files because this is the way how Apache works. Uh, and Nginx, it will, uh, uh, it will not work uh, and you will be able to request admin, uh, PHP files located in admin directory without any uh, credentials. So the right way to configure it uh, to place uh, PHP configurations inside uh, to add new locations inside uh, admin location. So now we look at the previous example of the wrong way of configurations and I will show you the correct one. You should duplicate all this uh, configuration. Uh, here we isolate uh, to regular expressions inside uh, prefix locations and uh, Nginx will, uh, when Nginx will match post or image locations, it will not look uh, the whole configurations to find more matches. And the same do, uh, and the same uh, will you do. When you need to change something, for example, you want to change uh, uh, backend to handle posts, you just need to, uh, to change it in one place. You don't need to uh, look through the all configurations to find any places that will uh, depend on this uh, location. Uh, if you need to change backend through the all configurations, uh, you can do easily in your favorite editor. Find and replace. Uh, you, it takes just several seconds uh, to decide should it, should uh, string should the string be changed at this place or should it be skipped. Uh, if you have 50 locations, uh, it will take about a minute. Or so, just to change the whole, uh, just to uh, change and check all configurations. Suppose you have 50 configurations and you need to all through. Uh, uh, you, you need you have 50 configurations, uh, 50 locations with regular expressions. In this case, you have to look through the all configurations. It will spend. Uh, it will may takes an hour or more just to understand how your configurations works. So this is one of the way uh, how you can use regular expressions in uh, Nginx. Try to isolate them. Another uh, way to use regular expression uh, are maps. Uh, maps, uh, you can use regular expressions safe in, inside maps. Uh, should you use rewrites? No, you should avoid them as much as possible. Uh, if. 
due to some internals of Nginx, uh, if is the evil thing. Uh, it doesn't work uh, like you will expect. Uh, for example, uh, in these configurations, if both conditions are true, you expect that uh, the resulting configurations will be uh, zip, jzip off and attack also off. But it is not the case. Uh, Nginx uh, will use only the last one configurations. So jzip will be turned on. So the safe way to use if only to return some HTTP code, for example, uh, here. Uh, <clears throat> and summary. You should use only prefix locations. Try to avoid regular expression. If you have to use regular expression, try to isolate them. You can use safely regular expressions inside maps. Uh, duplications is your friend. Do not try to use don't repeat yourself pattern uh, in Nginx configurations. You, you should use copy and paste. Uh, you should not use rewrite. Uh, as, and you should use if only to return HTTP code. <clears throat> 